right side over. Hold on a second. Get in a bit. Okay, stone laptop. Everybody else got these usually in schools or businesses. <clears throat> Brought back to us. I think he's had a bit of a spillage. <laughs> I'm not going to cast aspersions. I don't really care or whatever you say. But I want the hard drive out and the memory if it's any good. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. And the battery. So pretty straightforward. Pull the lock back. Pull the lock back. And push. Ooh, it should come out. Oh, sorry. There we go. So battery. Is there anything on that? No. Okay, underneath here, and this is the hard drive as well, so I want the memory out. I've tried everything to fix it, and it is definitely a goner. So I'm going to take the hard drive out and test that, and see if that's any good. And I'll keep the memory as well, if that's any good. Any more, or more. And the processor, because it's quite a good machine. No finger bits on here, so... Close you up. There we go. Memory's gone already. So whether you had it in or it's got on board, I don't know. So it might have been open before. Who knows. Processor's underneath this fan. We can take that out if we need to. And that's the heat exchange. So next, hard drive. Looks like it's been apart. Unless it was me. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is me. Yeah, I do apologize. It was me. I've already, I've already took this one apart. There must be another one somewhere. Anyway, <clears throat> so hard drive slides out. Take the cover off. I've took the memory out already. Took the battery out. Uh, CD-ROM can come out as well, we can use that. So you just take that screw out there. You can see that there. MX time 4, and then the, the CD-ROM should just pull forward. There we go. I'm just looking for telltale signs, see, what, see why it's died. I'd like to get the keyboard off as well, because it's quite... It's quite a tidy machine, see? It's an i5, if you can see that. i5, Windows 7, or Windows 10, whatever you want to put on it. But uh, I can't see anything. Okay, what I'll do now, I'll take all the screws off. Uh, you don't want me to see doing that, and I'll show you how to get to the keyboard and see if we can get the keyboard out. And have a look for the damage back in a sec okay all the screws out the base there's two extra long ones just there each side that's supporting the hinge i believe so then if you just lift it up edge on if i can show you that it should just there we go Prize apart. we miss one nope And steady. Ooh, I must miss one down here. There's another one just there, hidden there. There's one hidden here, and I believe there's another one just there. So if you're taking it apart, just be gentle, don't force it. You it, it, it'll it'll stop where there's still screws connected. Okay, then you've got your ribbons. Another one somewhere. Hold on. And another one just there. Hopefully that's it. There we go. Okay, and then you've got your ribbons. Oh, they're a bit awkward. There we go. So on your ribbons. Ah, uh, 
I got some spillage here. Yeah. Right, okay. So, if we put him down like that, I'll get back to you in a second when I figure out how to get these ribbons out. Okay, before you can move the actual circuit, well, the top of the keyboard and everything from the rest, the, the ribbons are connected underneath. So you've got to remove them this way. So you pull the little tabs back, if you can see that. And the little tiny tabs. And they slide through the main board, the motherboard. There we go. So they slide through the board. And this is the keyboard here as well. So we might have to just disconnect the this is the Wi-Fi or the yeah it's gonna be the Wi-Fi. So disconnect them. There's a tiny screw there. Undo him. He pops off and then the ribbon is underneath here so you slide this back two little tabs there and there you can see that here we go there's two tabs there and there and then the ribbon will just pop out there we go and that frees off the keyboard and if you look closely red wine so this is when you can change the keyboard now so the keyboards held in with a couple of screws well you can see that but I presume the keyboards naff anyway now because it looks like it's gone everywhere under the buttons they're all gooed up so it's a shame nice looking machine and that takes you to the board then, and we've got the screen left, so we'll dismantle the whole lot, I presume. Because we can keep the screen. On this one, I'll keep the screen as a whole, so I've just undone one screw there. And, see that? On this side. That releases the hinges. Hinges. And the quad connector. And that releases those. So then we've got to follow this round because I want to keep this intact really. So I might have to take the board out as well, I think. Always underneath, bear with me. Here we are. There's the ribbon here, the connector. So we might have to. Um, Take the whole lot out, I think. The board will have to come separate, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're going to have to lift the motherboard as well. To we'll actually get the screen off with all the connectors on. That's pretty straightforward. Now, if you're doing this and you want to go to put it together again, I suggest you take intermittent fo uh, photos. So you know where all the screws are. That's what I tend to do. There's a lot of them wine in here. Can you see it? <laughs> it's everywhere, look. It's all over the whole circuit board. No wonder it's gone. Right. I should, should be able to get... I'm not too bothered about the board because I know it's nap anyway. So there's your one connector. So I'll flip it over. And I'm a little bit rough with this one, but I know it's dead anyway. So there's the other connector. Just popping through. There we go. Then we want to follow this one, which is probably it's either Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, the um, inboard camera. Okay, so just follow these wires round, like so. Then I'll clip on that board. Ooh, they go all the way around. Yeah, they are for the aerial. Oh, they are for the Wi-Fi. Okay. 
So, just undone three screws, that'll take the fan off, we'll keep that. I know I'm a bit crude with this one because it's, I know it's dead. And I know we're not going to use it. Maybe some parts, but I've got a little bit stuck here. So I've got missing a screw somewhere, I'm looking, I'm looking, and I can't seem to find it. Back in a sec. Okay, just going to take the heat sink off because it goes over the top of the casing which holds the casing in place. And there we go. So follow the wires around. This isn't a tutorial on how to fix, this is just taking one apart and salvaging parts. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Tuck underneath and round. This one under and round, under and over. And that's that. I presume I'll take the process right, because I think that's enough anyway. I'm supposed to have earth clamps on, I'm not over fussy. I know I'm, I've done this a long time, and you know you have to have gloves on and all that, but. Ooh, he's not coming out that easy. There you go. One processor. I usually take the battery out as well if I can salvage it because that's quite handy. And the rest will just go in the bin. Speakers if you want to keep the speakers. I think so. Connectors. Keep the heat sink with the processor. I can't see why, then if we're going to use it again, to be honest with you. I can blow the fan out and use that because that's, that works alright. And then we've got the screen. And there you go. This is not a tutorial on... This is actually a tutorial on how to wreck your laptop, okay? <laughs> to annihilate it. It's just showing you an insight on these stone laptops, maybe keyboards and how to get the screen. I mean, if you wanted to change just the screen on this, you'd leave all this intact. You'd undo these little screws underneath these rubber mounts take it off under the screws there's usually bevels around the outside take the screen and rechange the screen if you'd like to see that just leave a, in the, a message in the description down below and I'll, I'll do it for you okay thanks very much for watching take care